Watch this video before you lift your Toyota Tacoma. <music> And welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, make sure you watch this video before you lift your Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to talk about reasons why you really shouldn't, and an alternative that'll give you something that I think is just as pleasing, just as satisfying. Now, first of all, we do have to take care of a quick little mod, something I've been meaning to do. Let me show you, and no, it's not this one. We're working on something there, that's for later. It's this one. We're going to black out the chrome on the steering wheel inside the truck. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I am talking about this beaming chrome beacon right here. I've already cleaned it off with rubbing alcohol. What we're going to put on, that little emblem you saw up there, does have double-sided tape on it. So, this is cleaned, ready to roll. Now, I just have to take the double-sided tape off of the emblem itself and then we're going to go ahead and stick this thing on. Okay, here we go. I've got the emblem inside. Again, this is just a little thing to black out the chrome on the steering wheel. Just fits over. I replaced the double-sided tape on the back. This was actually in my Voodoo Blue Toyota Tacoma. I decided to go black. I'm not going to go with any crazy colors in here like my Tundra, so no worries there. Um, just go ahead push it on. It's just that simple. Not a difficult mod by any means. Uh, the hardest part is adhering it without honking the horn. Um, hopefully I can do that. It is just held on by double-sided tape. Pretty simple. Or cinchy, as we used to say back when I was, you know, little. It was cinchy. This is cinchy. Uh, so, I'm just going to hold it down, push it on a little bit, that's it. Um, this is what it looks like. Again, not rocket science, pretty easy. And it just blacks out that chrome, that's it. Now, before anybody asks, and I know you're going to, where do you get these? Well, you can't anymore. Um, they used to be sold by AJT Design, but there was a little copyright issue, I guess, with Toyota, and they had to stop selling them. Um, you do find them occasionally on Etsy. Uh, you may be able to find them other places. I just try an internet search. Like I say, I've got, I got one, it was a red one, for my Tundra on Etsy. But other than that, I don't know anywhere you can get these anymore. Now, let's get on to the main topic here about why you should not lift your Toyota Tacoma. First of all, I want to give you a, a quick look at the setup that I have right now on my Toyota Tacoma. This is a 2021 SR5. Nothing special. It's not a TRD. It's not an off-road or a sport or a limited or even a pro. Nothing like that. I recently put bigger tires and still 16-inch wheels on it. And I got to say, I love the look. I went with a negative 10 offset on the tires. I don't know why we lost our focus there. There we go. I went with a negative 10 offset. It gives me a little bit of wheel poke. You guys can see down the truck. I really like that and I would recommend if you're looking for that, if you want your tires to stick out a little bit, don't go with anything less than a minus 10. It'll give you the perfect setup in my opinion. Now, what does any of this have to do with lifting your truck or not lifting your truck? You know, previously, and a lot of you probably know, I had a 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road. I had lifted that truck actually a couple of times, two different ways, um, or processes, I guess. I had just a block and spacer, and then I replaced the coils and the shocks on all four corners, along with blocks and spacers, ultimately to achieve a better ride. And that was my biggest problem that is the biggest problem, I think, with lifting the Tacoma. You're going to kill your ride. So, this time around, I decided that I would wait until after I got the new wheels and tires. The wheels, again, are the same size as what was on it. They're 16 inch, but the tires are bigger. Actually, I did a little video a couple days ago or so where I put the stock tire up against these, and it looks almost like an inch and a half or so. Now it's really not. It's one point some odd inches 
that the tires are taller than the stock ones were. So in essence, it puts me up in the air overall about an inch or one point some odd inches higher than I was before. And I gotta say, I love the look of the truck. It looks lifted to me. Truth is going to be uh, told, I suppose, when I get asked in public, you know, hey, did you lift your truck? Is your truck lifted? We shall see if that happens. But to me, it looks like it's lifted like this. I like the stance of it. Now, the reason I say don't lift your truck is because you're going to kill the ride. You're going to spend a ton of money potentially or some amount of money and you're going to end up with something that you're probably not going to like. That was my experience on two different trucks that I've lifted, two different Tacomas. My Sport was lifted, it was very rough and very firm and so was my off-road that I recently traded. This I think is a good middle ground. By putting the bigger tires on, and these are a 265-75 R16, the biggest that you can go on the Toyota Tacoma without rubbing. And again, that's with a minus 10 offset on the wheels, so it pushes them out a little bit. That's the biggest size you can get. Now, if you do a 2-1 lift, the biggest size you can get once again is a 265-75 R16, or depends on what side of wheel, what size wheel you're going to go with. But for me, it's a 16. So I would have the same wheel and tire setup if I lifted the truck. Obviously, the body of the truck would be higher if I did the lift, but I still would have the same result from the tires themselves. So let's say I decided to do that 2-1. I would actually end up with a three, um, or actually, yeah, three in the front, two inches in the back. Um, probably would cut into that lean a little bit or that rake that the front of the truck has, which it still has, by the way. When I measured it the other day, and we'll do something more formal here in the future, I'll actually put a tape measure up against it. But I still do have a, a little bit of a lean in the front, a little bit of a rake. But I've got to say, with the naked eye, it's not really that obvious to see because it's not that much. And I'm sure it varies to degree, each Tacoma, everything to the nth. In other words, it's going to vary a little bit how much rake you get, depending upon how the truck sits on the suspension, how much the suspension has settled, things like that, which means I could end up with a little more rake or maybe a little bit less. I actually had tires in the back, the uh, stock tires, which four of them weigh quite a bit, and it did push the rear down, and I think the truck was pretty much level at that point, so I guess if I really wanted to, I could put a few bags of sand in there and not lift it at all, and I'd have a level truck. Who knows? But anyway, this is something that I think you should consider. And the bigger tires, the 285-70 R17s, so let's talk about those for a minute. That's what I had on my last truck. That's what's still on the truck when I traded it in. Those tires, in my opinion, while they look awesome, I mean, you can't beat the look of that setup on, on the Toyota Tacoma, but they're too big and heavy. They weight down the truck. They kind of kill the steering a little bit. They add even more to the discomfort of driving the truck because they're big and heavy. So they suck some of that power out of the Tacoma. Let me tell you, with this setup, while I do feel it just a little bit, the heavier tires, it is barely noticeable. Barely. I'm perfectly happy with it. And at least right now, I don't see any reason why you should lift the Toyota Tacoma. I think this setup is awesome. Now, if you're a big-time off-roader and you've got to have you know, more clearance than that, I suppose, but I would start to wonder how high should you go then? Maybe a foot or two? I don't know, because that's pretty good clearance as is. You notice one other point I want to make. I did take the side steps off. Um, I did that for a couple reasons. One, at this height, I don't need them. I find it more comfortable at five foot nine and a half. To be able to get in and out of the truck without them, it's just much better, much more comfortable. I found I was actually just scraping them when I got in and out of the truck. So they're gone, and that gives the illusion that the truck is higher as well. Because now you don't have those hanging down, so to the naked eye, you've actually raised up the truck if you will. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, maybe throw it out there. Before you lift your truck, 
Maybe take a look at a setup like this. If you can see it in person, see if you like it. It'll save you a little bit more money. You'll maintain almost exactly the same factory setup. You're not going to mess with the geometry of it, the angles or anything like that, because all you're doing is putting bigger tires on. Have a look. See what you think. Leave a comment, too. I'd be curious. If you've done something like this, are you happy with it? Or did you go ahead and lift it anyway? And if so, what do you think of the results of the lift you put on? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.